as we get into this chapter a little further, uh, we're going to be talking, uh, well, tonight we're going to be talking a lot about rate of change or slope. Um, they're synonymous, kind of. Uh, slope is a very mathematical word, where rate of change is a very logical word uh, or a very logical phrase. The rate of change. Um, you could think of your distance from home as you're riding your bike away. The faster you ride your bike, the faster the rate of change is. If you turn around, the rate of change becomes negative because the distance becomes smaller as you're riding. What else? Oh, as you blow up a balloon, um, the harder you blow into the balloon, the faster the balloon will increase in size. Uh, you can measure, for example, the surface area of the balloon. Um, the surface area of the balloon would increase as you blow into it. Um, if you uh, let go of the balloon without tying it, the surface area will decrease very quickly probably. So those are rate of change problems. Um, we oversimplify rate of change and we call it slope in Algebra 1. It's more complicated than that later on. Um, and that's really what I want to get you ready for is the concept of slope. So tonight you have some extra math problems to do. Um, there's not really a whole lot of learning you have to do before them. Uh, I think you probably have learned what you need to already. Uh, I'm just going to go over some very fundamental key things for your notes that I think you probably know already, maybe, I guess, from last year. Um, I'd be kind of surprised if you don't, but let's see what happens. I'm going to share, um, well, I'm going to share this piece of paper with you. It talks about positive, negative slope, undefined slope, zero slope, and then rate of change. And we'll talk about how to calculate slope uh, from a visual standpoint. So uh, that's what I'm going to share with you. Let's uh, take some quick notes on this, and uh, then you can go off and do the EMI stuff for the homework. So the first thing here, a line with a positive slope, that means that as we go from left to right, the line goes up in some way. So that's positive slope, all right? Maybe even this is positive slope. Uh, even steeper is positive slope. Those are all positive slope lines, all right? As we go across from left to right, the slope gets steeper. Try to get this in focus for you better. Okay, negative slope. Negative slope, as we go across from left to right, the line goes down. So that would be an example of negative slope. Or it could go down like this. This would be negative slope. All right. Zero slope. Zero slope is means the thing doesn't change. There has no change, zero change. So as X moves along, Y doesn't change. As X moves along, Y doesn't change. That means that the slope is, zero slope looks like this. That's also called a horizontal line. Horizontal. Okay. An undefined slope, an undefined slope is one that is so steep, is so steep, that it has no X change. So X isn't changing. Y is changing in infinitely. Um, so that would be a vertical line. So that line, that line could be anywhere. It could be here, it could be here, it could be in, in quadrant two and three instead of in quadrant one and four. Just like the horizontal line over here could be anywhere. All right, a vertical line. Um, so this is vertical. A vertical line has an undefined slope. Okay, now, all right, so there's a little mixture that's in your notes, positive slope, negative slope, zero slope, undefined slope. Okay, now slope, I want you to be thinking of slope as the rate of change, the rate of change or a ratio of change in y over change in x. So um, in, any, in any graph that you have of a line, provided you have a line, a straight line, a line would go on forever and ever, um, you can pick any two points on that line, and you're gonna draw a right triangle. You're gonna draw a right triangle. So if you're using graph paper, that'll be nice. And um, what you wanna do to find the slope, to find the slope, is you calculate how far this is. That I'm gonna call the change in Y. The change in Y. 
All right. And then you're going to calculate how far this is. That I'm going to call the change in x. All right. You could think of this as the rise. You could think of this as the run. All right. This might be the rise. This might be the run. All right. And slope which we call m, we use the letter m for slope, is equal to the change, this is change delta, delta, change, change in y over change in x, all right? Delta stands for change, delta y over delta x, or rise over run, all right? So the actual slope is, is a calculated number, and you can calculate it by dividing the ratio, dividing the rise, the change in y, divided by the run, the change in x, all right? Um, you can draw this triangle on either side of the line, doesn't matter. Um, so here we have another line, uh, pick two points, any two points, it doesn't matter because you're dividing these two things, it's a ratio, it's a fraction. It doesn't matter where you put the two points as long as they're on the line. And here is delta y, and here is delta x. And the slope here is still going to equal delta um, delta y divided by delta x. Right? Now you can see in this case that x is positive. If you're going from this point to this point, that x is positive and y is negative. So this is going to be a negative slope, which matches up with up here, a negative slope. That's the negative slope. Whereas here, if you go from this point to this point, the change in x is positive and the change in y is positive. So this is a positive divided by a positive. This is a positive slope. It's a positive slope line. It's a negative slope line. All right. Um, that's actually more than enough to get you started tonight. Um, the EMI problems. Um, and there's a couple graphing things to do. I want you to graph the table. It's not problems out of the book. Just things I, I put together for you. Um, so uh, think through the homework. The EMI problems should be done slowly. I think there's only eight or nine of them. Um, take your time with those. Think about those. Think about writing more with those. Um, I'll talk to you. I hopefully, I will talk to you in class about that also. Um, take a little time with that to think about what you're putting together and really present your ideas on paper. Um, that's where the learning is going to come from with, with those um, extra math problems. Okay. Have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you uh, next class.